Good morning, Terrence. This is your favorite alien speaking on this Sunday, June 10th. Oh, almost half of your year is gone already, almost, huh? Well, anyway, uh, I would like to do a video today on the Americans and try to get a light bulb on them. Okay, uh, and I'll call it Terrence, Americans and Enigma, because they are. You became the top dog of this planet by default. Total War made you top dog. And that's your generation today doesn't comprehend that. The generation that's John McCain's and earlier do. But, and the one person that understood it correctly was your president, Dwight David Eisenhower, especially when he left office and he said, your main concern is the military and your industrial complex, because that'll destroy you. And sure enough, it's going to destroy you. And you got a president that doesn't understand anything. And he's destroying you. Uh, you had presidents before that did bad deals. And this president should understand that. But then again, you guys have no mission statement on your government. So what is the United States really? I don't know. The Europeans don't know. The Chinese, they really don't know. Because every time you look up, somebody's new there and you have to look another way. And that's not the way you run a government. Just because you change leaders does not mean you change government. That's what you people have to understand. No, I mean comprehend that you have to do that. A good example. Your so-called G7 was just held. And President Trump, as usual, did his atrocious at that. And then he's going to meet Kim Jong-un, which is considered a pain in the ass. The Chinese love him because <laughs> he's keeping the U.S. at bay. That's why they love him. They're laughing their heads off. Or as you say down here, your ass is off. Because, you know, and I'm an alien from another planet and I can see this. Like, you guys are acting like my ancestor planet did a thousand years ago. And this is exactly the way the stupid leaders of that planet used to act. And it cost a, a bunch of nation states a lives back then. It'll cost the United States their existence. Because Mr. Trump is going to make you guys split into different confederations. Because you guys have no unity right now. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, or whatever you are. You're not American. You're slash this. You're slash that. There's no such thing as an American. You show me an American and I'll tell you, what do you believe in? And you can't tell me the flag, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Because Chevrolet is bad. Apple pie, well, no people, nobody knows how to make a good apple pie anymore. And the flag? You guys kick it all over the place what you do to your national anthem. You kick that around like it's a rag doll. So as an alien speaking to you Americans, you had a good opportunity here. And the reason you became top dog, like I said, for 25 years, from 1945 to 70, you had it made because everybody else was destroyed and tried to come back. Then everybody else came back. And they have done you notice that you don't make stuff no more? Why? Because you guys got so used to being, getting the money and worrying about the money and you forgot about what got you there, which is making dependable, good stuff. You don't make that no more. The Japanese surpassed you. They make all the good televisions. Look at the South Koreans. They're making all your washer and dryers, your cars. I mean, South Korea, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, you would say, who, Daewoo, what, that, who, what, what, you know, 
look at them now. They got pretty good cars. They don't make you American cars. Look at Chrysler. It's an Italian company. I mean, come on, Americans. Don't you have a light bulb there? And then you elect dum-dums to fill all your so-called high-level things. Terrorists are not going to do it. That's a 19th century way of thinking. What's Mr. Uh, Trump thinking? 19th century? We're in the 21st century. You have to look at countries like Canada, Western Europe. Forget the Mexicans. They're a disaster. But Canada is asserting its, its power. And, you know, Canada will be a powerful country in the future. Trust me on that. I've seen it. And it's because you guys disintegrated. Well, you could have been a good partner to Canada. And sure, on, on the trade deals, I mean, you guys were stupid enough to want to do those trade deals. Canada says, oh, thank you. And so did Western Europe. But you don't go back and say tariffs. You go back and you say, we have something you need. You have something we need. But you don't deal like that. Because you want to be top dog, and then you can't be top dog anymore. Those days are gone. You can't sustain your military. You can't sustain your medical. And you can, you know you can't do it. Sustaining your military and sustaining countries like Israel, Egypt, and all other countries, why are you giving them money? They're not giving you nothing. Israel's spying against you. So this is what I don't understand, Americans. What the heck are you thinking? And you, the people, vote these people in. That's the most in, uh, egregious thing of all, is that the so-called citizens don't even give a damn. So thanks. <laughs>